Hello there, Coles here. I'm back again with another cheat code slash unlock code video. Cheat code is more of a traditional phrase using games like GTA San Andreas where the codes actually were cheating. But in this game, they're just unlocking cool stuff. So this is my fourth video on this and represents all the codes available as of the first quarter of 2019. So, the first one we have is Ultra Catty. Obviously, that is the newest one and the most relevant. That's probably why you're here. So, Ultra Catty is a version of a character from uh, the Lego Movie 2. So, we will go ahead and add the code for that right here where it says enter code. And my previous three videos were on the PC, but there is a glitch on the PC that prevents some people from being able to type. So you could start typing like, say, T, Y, U, and if you typed the I, then the whole thing would be deleted. And that was a real pain in the backside. So I decided to make this video on the PS4 where there is no such glitch. So the first code for Ultra Catty is as follows H two nine V four E and uh, you know make sure they're all capitals. I don't know if it makes a difference, I haven't tried. I guess we could see if it makes a difference. It doesn't make a difference, okay then. So there we go. Code accepted, model unlocked, ultra catty. Now the next one, we're going to start from the very, oops, we're going to start from the very beginning with the lock and roller from Nexo Knights, and the code for that is L Y nine C eight M. Just like that. I don't think capitals matter again. Nope. There we go. Uh, the next one we have is Lance's Driller from the Exo Knights once again. And that is going to be X, P, 3, B, N, 2. Code accepted. Lance's Twin Jouster. Uh, the next one is the Police Car. So that's P... 4-2 F-J-6 J-6, there we go and that should unlock the police car model unlock police car alright, so the next one is the getaway car from LEGO City that is going to be B G-7 D W Code accepted, getaway car. Uh, the next one is the pizza van, also from Lego City. We have U9 8 BR2. Code accepted, pizza van. Next one, we have the Jungle Buggy, which is ND2 84C. The Jungle Buggy, there we go. The next one is the Jungle Cargo Helicopter, and the code for that is XP7. 6VF There we go Model unlocked Alright and the next one is the Manta Ray Bomber This is actually available in one of the Lego City builds on top of one of the skyscrapers with the helipad on top You will find this build even without the code um, So the code is YG4 3JH. Ok, 
Okay. I'll unlock the Manta Ray Bomber. Alright, the next one is the Tuk Tuk Vehicle. Okay, seven. Two. Yeah, PPA seven two. V. I think. Yeah. And then the next one is the Monster Scientist. So this is kind of a thing that was introduced after the Monster Pack came out. On around that time, I can't remember exactly. But the code for that is X29 VTY. Model unlocked, Monster Scientist. So that one is actually a playable character. Is pretty cool. Uh, so we have the Chinese dog first of all. That's T J P Z L V or Z. Depends where you're from. Model unlocked, the Chinese New Year dog. Okay. All right, and then we have the pink Cadillac, which is part of a 1950s build. So the code for that is 8BV3VEQ. There we go, the pink convertible. And then we have the Egg Blaster, which is a user, an equip, an equip, equipable item, if I could speak. That would be helpful. Yeah, so we have the Egg Blaster, which is E, F, 9, G, J, 4. Special item unlocked, Egg Blaster. Alright, and the next one is the Toy Soldier, which is actually a playable character. So the code for that is N, A, 3, Z, K E N A Z E. What were they? What were they trying to say there? Okay. Accept. We've got the toy soldier. And the next one is the barbarian, which is another playable character. And the code for that is V N four M H. Z BN4 megahertz whatever that means, I don't know that is a secret code Barbarian Unlocked, very nice then we have a couple of iffy codes so one of them is Skelly Plus which gives the skeletons in the game uh, dynamite for a short period of time. I've never actually seen this work. I mean, the code works, but I've never seen it actually happen. So we'll have to try and catch that happening, I guess. So we've got that one. Then there's also drum ST, like drumstick. So it's something to do with the chicken drumstick. I'm not entirely sure what. Code accepted. I would imagine that it adds it into your inventory. And then the other one is Kreuz. Which is short for Croissant. Whether this works or not. I think the code works, but I don't know what it does. Again, I imagine it just adds to the inventory in the game. So we'll have to have a look. And then we get to the final two codes. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether these are available on console because I've never tried before, but I know they work on PC. So these are BR1CK5, aka Bricks, spelt strangely. Accept, code accepted. Okay, so. That is meant to unlock all the bricks in the game. 
we will see when we get into the game. All right, and the last, the very last code is fixtures, spelt F one X T R S. So what this one does is unlocks all the fixtures in the game. So that's the windows and doors and stuff like that. Code accepted. So at least the code was accepted. I wasn't sure whether it was even going to do that. But now we have done that, we can head on into the game and see if all our codes are here. This will do, I think. Alright, so the first one to check. I guess we could check the skeletons. Before we do anything else. Oh, there's new characters, as you can see. If I place some skeletons down, do they have dynamite? Um... No, they don't. That's interesting, so I have no idea how you meant to get this code to work. But I imagine it probably only works for skeletons that actually spawn in the game, not ones that you place in the game. Um, Alright, so the first thing to have a look at then, in that case, is the Ultra Cafe. So, we'll go to our discovery tool, go to creatures, and there we go, Ultra Catty. So, this is, like I said, a character from the Lego Movie 2, and I imagine it'll be in the Lego Movie 2 game, which I don't have yet. And hopefully they will be adding some more codes and characters from the Lego Movie 2 that we can use. That will be really cool. So in terms of abilities, um, we can run around with it. And it has a pretty powerful stomp as well for killing bandits. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, very cool and fun creature nonetheless. Uh, so the next one to have a look at is the lock and roller. Which is... I don't know. I can't even remember what it is. It's some kind of vehicle. Um, it must be... Ah, oh, this right here. Rowena's lock and roller. I really like this vehicle. So you can ride it on the front here to control it. You can also get in the back of it if you want to put someone in the jail cell back here. I thought the door usually... I'm pretty sure the door is meant to close on that. I don't know why it's not. Because, I mean, we're holding onto the bars, but nothing is happening. Very cool vehicle, nonetheless. I don't really use it that much because it's kind of an awkward shape and size and it's not particularly fast either, but it definitely looks cool. It's definitely a, a head turner, that's for sure. Oops, <laughs> just submerge it in water. Alright, here we have Lance's twin jouster. This is the next vehicle that we added. Now, to actually use the drilling function, you press square and just drive forward. If you want to drill down, hold the left analog stick down. If you want to drill up, then hold it up. But it kind of goes weird. It's a pretty fun vehicle nonetheless. And, uh,. But probably isn't the best drill in the game. There's a few others that are pretty good. Alright, so the next thing we're having a look at is the police car. So we've seen this before, obviously in previous videos. Uh, pretty, pretty fun car. It's faster than the, uh, the other vehicle we were driving before.
But uh, other than that, it has the hopping function as all vehicles do. But apart from that, it's uh, just a, a car. In fact, I thought it used to. Uh, the next vehicle to have a look at is the getaway car. I don't think there's much to this, it's just kind of an ATV looking vehicle. Also has a horn. Quite quick. Pretty good on non-flat terrain as well, it appears. Okay, and the next vehicle... Alright, and the next thing we're going to have a look at is the pizza van. Which is right here. You've probably seen it before, but uh... It'll definitely be a cool, a cool city vehicle. If you've got like a pizza restaurant or something, you could always have these parked outside as a, as a takeout kind of thing. A delivery service. And then we have... Oh, a gold... Troublemaker. Excuse me one moment. Thank you very much. Yeah, so the next vehicle to have a look at is the jungle buggy. Now, this vehicle. I can't even I can't even remember ever using it to be honest. It's kind of like the getaway car. I think they're pretty similar in their physics and things. Looks kind of cool, I guess. It's got a nice old, it's got a pretty cool design on the front of a, a leopard, it looks like, hiding in the bushes. Okay, so the next vehicle is the jungle cargo helicopter. This right here. This is probably my favourite helicopter in the game. Just because it's a bit different, you know. Got the uh, got the engine things on, on the back there, with fire coming out. Got the flashing green lights. And it's just generally a very cool vehicle, also. Uh, the next vehicle is the Manta Ray Bomber. As I said, it's actually in one of the Ninjago City builds. Um, so you don't actually need the code to unlock it. But, well, I was going to say, if you missed those builds, then you could use the code. But the builds are still available, so just make sure you've downloaded them. So this is a pretty cool vehicle. I know I've said that about like all of them. But this one flies, it looks like it should be like a submarine or something. But it's not. It flies. We've got those like rocket propellers on the bottom and we've got these black and yellow hazard looking rockets that actually look like bombs. And if we press square we can fire these missiles, which is pretty cool. If you wanna blow stuff up, I guess. Uh, is there anything else on this? Oh yeah, you can sit in the back of it. That's a pretty neat function, especially if you're playing with friends. So you could actually have someone on this back bit if I could actually get on it. No, just... Oh god. This game, it's, it's kind of glitchy with these like back seats. It's very awkward to actually use them. Right, so we have... Just a regular gun. They're not explosive bullets. By the looks of it. And you can't turn it either. So I mean, it's not really very functional really. Like, I couldn't think of a real situation that you would use that. Uh, but anyway, let's continue. We next have the Tuk Tuk Truck. So that is this thing right here. Oh, there we go. Oh. I mean, this might actually be bigger than the police car. It's very slow. But we also have the sirens on this. And it looks like it's a very bumpy ride. So look how much it shakes. 
Okay. All right, and then the next code was the monster scientist. So that is a playable character. You can have a look at it here. So this is one of my favorites, particularly the headpiece, obviously, because it's like Kayadi Mundi from Star Wars with the giant head. Okay, KSI. And okay, so the next thing is the Chinese New Year dog, which we can get right here. So it's just kind of a regular dog with this kind of coat on it of what is it? A dragon. Very cool. And there's another one of these things. Is it, why is there so many of these popping up? If you do a couple of rolls, it makes it go faster. So yeah, that was the Chinese New Year dog. And the next one is the pink convertible. So obviously that's a vehicle. Here it is. And I don't know if it... You can have multiple people sitting in it. Oh, you can. There we go. We're in the passenger seat now. Just chilling out. Those animations are pretty cool. And uh, obviously we can drive it. It's a pretty fun drive. It's a decent speed. Just like most of the regular car vehicles. Got a horn. And that's about it. It just looks very cool. Okay, the next thing we're going to check out is the Egg Blaster. There we go. It fires egg. I guess that makes sense. So, I mean, it literally... It's kind of... It just colours it like different shades of eggshell. I mean, I haven't ever seen any pink eggs, but I've seen eggs that are that colour, that blue colour. I imagine it's possible to have eggs that green colour. But I mean, it's more of an Easter thing anyway. So yeah, I mean, its function isn't great, it just is pretty much a paintball gun. But it looks awesome wearing it on your back and holding the blaster. Definitely one of the better looking items in the game. Alright, the next thing to have a look at is the toy soldier playable character. I don't know why I'm carrying a bone. I've got like this wind up thing on our back. Alright, and the last character that we're going to have a look at is, of course, the Barbarian. Where? There it is. I was about to say, where is it? So we've got this jacked, muscular dude. He's got battle scars and torn pants. As well as some kind of brass metal armor and a leather and a leather strap over our shoulder. I don't know what that's carrying, but a very cool character nonetheless. I mean, even the hairpiece is pretty cool. So that's definitely a character that you want to get if you haven't already. Another one of these. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna stop chasing them. Otherwise, I'm just. Otherwise, I'll just ruin my my next playthrough video if I keep doing that. All right, and the last four codes we had the drum st, the drumstick. Uh, did that add a chicken drumstick? Let's find out. It doesn't look like it has. And the croissant one. Don't think that has added anything either. Very interesting. Alright, um, and then the 
bricks. The bricks and fixture codes, did they work on console? Because on my older videos, I, I would get comments saying that these two codes didn't work. And I didn't know why they wouldn't have worked. They worked for me on PC, and that's all I tried. But it looks like it looks like it's worked fine. We've unlocked all the fixtures. And we've unlocked every single brick, which is very, very useful. So yeah. I think that brings us to the end of this video. That's all the codes as of uh, the beginning of March 2019. Hopefully there'll be more to come, but I feel like this game is kind of dying now. I mean, it's pretty much dead. And um, it looks like Lego, the Lego Movie 2 game is very similar in gameplay to this. A lot of the features are pretty much the same, and um, you know they've, they've clearly used this game as like a basis for the Lego Movie 2 game, which is fair enough. I hope that that game is as good as this one. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video.